but I'm not allowed to have it. Mimi's trying hard to find a good reason to take the candy. After all, her parents don't let her eat too much. Mm. Yeah, I'll share it with my friends. Looks like she found a good reason. Her parents did teach her it's important to share. What took you so long? That took forever. Sorry, I was just getting candy for you guys. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But my parents don't let me eat a lot of candy. Me neither. Same here. Maybe if we just have one. Well, I think that would be okay. Yum. 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 Yeah. They really love candy. Yep, yep, yep. They love it so much. They keep eating and eating. Yeah. Oof, I'm full. Me too. I feel bad and good. Uh, I feel so weird. Same. I'm just gonna lie here. Mimi, you have some chocolate on your face. Oh, where? Here? Better? <laughs> Not really. Here's a napkin. Thanks. You take one too. I want one. Whew, that's better. Theo, oh. Mimi, Dee Dee, lunch is ready. How about some yummy cream of mushroom soup? Oh, sorry. I don't eat mushrooms. And I, I don't either. Uh, just try it. Oh, so yummy. We're full already. Thank you so much. We have to go. Hold on. Where are you going? What about the main course? Don't go anywhere. I can't eat anymore. Me neither, but she'll be upset if we don't try any. Oh no, I just want to lie down. I know you'll want to try my iconic ragu. Mmm, so yummy. Wow, I'm stuffed. Same. Thanks, we're gonna go. Okay, I understand. I'll let you go, but try my dessert first. The kids can tell that they're upsetting Mama Fox. So they decide to stay. That was so wonderful. So delicious. I can't even finish it. It was so... Why are you lying to me? Can't you just be honest and tell me it tastes bad? No, Mom, that's not it. It really was delicious, Mrs. Fox. We just... we just... We just ate a whole bag of candy. We filled up on it, so now there's no room for anything else. Don't you know you shouldn't eat too much candy at once? Eat your normal food first, then have something sweet for dessert, and you'll feel much better. We know. We just couldn't help ourselves. We're so sorry, Mom. I forgive you, kids. I understand what happened now. Just promise you won't do it again. We promise. That's great. The kids realize they made a mistake. So they decide to stay. So the next day, they went back to visit Mama Fox again. She made them a delicious lunch, and they ate it all up. Today, Mimi, Theo, and Didi 
are enjoying some yummy donuts yeah. that Didi's grandma made. Oh. Yeah. Didi, your grandma is amazing. These donuts are so yummy. Mm. They are really good, but I have a question. Why do donuts have holes in them? Mm. Probably to save dough. No, it's to make them easier to hold. See? Ah, no, Dee Dee. I could bite my finger off. Wow! Look, Mimi has an amazing idea. Dee Dee! Theo! Donuts have holes so that. Huh? We can see what a yummy place the world is. Look, donut glasses. It's all so yummy. Hum, hum, dum, hum, hum, dum, dum, dum. Hey, Theo, don't eat the whole thing. Hum, hum, dum, hum, dum. Don't worry, Mimi. I can swim. Mmm, orange, my favorite. Oh, I hope my mom and dad didn't turn into cookies. <laughs> Phew. Hi, mom. Hi, Hi dad. Hi, kids. What are you kids up to? The donuts are all over the place. Oh, we'll clean it up. Grandma, why do you put holes in donuts? So you use less dough, right? <laughs> of course not, sweetie. It's pretty simple, kids. The donuts just cook faster if they have a hole in them. Plus, it helps them keep their shape. Now, can you help me decorate the donuts with glaze? What color do you want? I want green. Orange. I'll go for pink. Wow. Mm. Yeah. This is still the best way to eat them. Hum dum dum hum dum dum. <laughs> what a sweet trip into the world of donuts. Now, the kids know exactly why donuts have holes. And they even helped Dee Dee's grandma. Great job, kids. Look! That cloud looks like a bunny. Yeah! A bunny? But bunnies are supposed to hop. How about now? <gasps> Mimi is great at using her imagination to play with her friends. Wow. Oh, that cloud looks like a plane. Yay! Hey, that cloud looks like an elephant.
scent. Where? It really does. Whoa, you imagine something really strong. It's like the water's really dripping. I can feel it too. It's not me. It's that huge dark cloud. It's about to rain. Let's go. Ah! Hurry up or we'll get soaked. They'll have to wring us out. Like a sponge? Ew, I don't want to be a sponge. Phew! We made it! Dad, we were outside and it started raining. I see. Well, here's some blankets. Get bundled up, sit on the couch and warm up. Who wants hot cocoa? Me! Oh, no. Look, it stopped raining and there's a... There's... A, I don't know what it is. Wow. Whoa! I wonder what that is. Oh, I know! It's a huge piece of candy oh. for giraffes! No, it's a huge bridge! We can run on it, then sit on a cloud and fly around the sky. That makes sense. I think it's a huge space caterpillar. No, it's a bridge! It's a caterpillar! No, it's candy! Caterpillar! Bridge! Candy! No, it's hot cocoa! We saw that in the sky, and we don't know what it is! First of all, you guys should relax a little. Second, I love all of your ideas. But that's actually a rainbow. A rainbow? What's a rainbow? Well, after it rains, the air gets humid. Which means it's full of little water droplets. When the sun shines at a certain angle through the water, a rainbow appears. Cool! Rainbows are shaped like an arch. You see all those colors? Yes! How many colors do you see? Seven! That's right! Can you name them all? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and indigo or purple. Great job! Now you know what it is, so you don't need to fight. Thanks, Dad! We won't fight anymore! You promise? Yeah! Great! Mm. Ugh. Ah. Nom, 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 nom. Mm. Nom, nom, nom. of the dentist. He wants to help you. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Hey. Hey. Oh. <laughs> 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 ooh. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Remember these simple rules. Floss and brush every day. Eat your veggies and go to the dentist for regular checkups. Come, 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 come. Mimi, did you brush your teeth? Mm-hmm. Then it's time for bed. <laughs> Hi. 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 Hello. Yellow, pink, green, purple. Time for bed. No. Sorry, but you still have to go. But why? Kids can't go to bed too late. Hmm, but why? I wish I could be a grown up already. You think being a grown up is better than being a kid? You really think so? Of course! If you're sure, then how about spending the whole day tomorrow as a grown-up? You can even watch TV as late as you want in the evening. I'm in! Mom, is that okay? Well, sure. Great! Deal. Okay, go to bed. You have to be up early for work tomorrow. Woohoo! Mimi was so happy to accept this exciting deal. But she couldn't even imagine what would happen in the morning. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Mimi, get up, sweetie. Um, I don't wanna. I wanna sleep. But you promised Dad. I know. I have to be a grown-up today. Ah! Oh! <sighs> What's for breakfast? Whatever you cook. You're the grown-up today. 
Oh, no. Oh, yes. Mimi was having a hard time in the morning, <gasps> but she was still doing her best. She would have enjoyed the breakfast she cooked, but she was too sleepy to enjoy anything. <sighs> the day just started, which means Mimi has a lot to do. She's going to work with her dad. To make sure Mimi was comfortable, Mr. Unicorn put a tiny desk next to his own for her. Yes! Mimi worked hard all day long, trying to do everything her dad did. <coughs> so, Mr. Unicorn paid Mimi for all her hard work. Phew! We're finally going home! Not quite. First, we need to go to the grocery store. Oh, no. When they get to the store, Mr. Unicorn says, Since you're the grown-up, pick the groceries yourself. Cool. Mimi picked out everything she wanted, but that's not what grown-ups do. So, Mr. Unicorn went with her to pick out new things. That'll be $40. <coughs> uh. You did a great job today, Mimi. Watch as much TV as you want. Thanks, Dad. Uh, oh, and also... I'm sorry, Dad. Uh, for what? Sorry, I don't want to be a grown-up anymore. It's too hard. I told you, sweetie. Just enjoy being a kid. You can be a grown-up later. Thanks. I love you, Dad. I love you too, Mimi. Good night. Mimi had a very long day, and she's very tired. But now she knows how great it is to be a kid. She can just listen to her parents, and everything will be okay. Do you like that toy? I love it! Will you get it for me? For your birthday. But I want it now! It's so expensive. We came here to buy groceries, you know. Hmm. <gasps> can I buy it for myself? That's a great idea. Where will you get the money? I'll earn it! Very interesting. How will you do that? I'll come up with something. Okay. Mrs. Unicorn was very impressed by Mimi's idea, so she decided to help her out. When Mimi gets home, she starts thinking of ways to earn enough money to afford the toy. Mimi spent a lot of time thinking until she got too tired and fell asleep. What are you up to? Just thinking of ways to make some money. And how's that going? I haven't come up with anything yet. That's okay. I have an idea. Yay! There are a lot of fruits and berries around us. No, there aren't. <laughs> Not here, silly. Outside. Oh, right! <laughs> What if you pick some? We can use them to make juice, and then you can sell it. Yay! That's a great idea! I love you, Mom! Love you too, sweetie. Can I invite Theo and Dee Dee? Of course. Mimi is so happy. She calls her friends, and they agreed to help her out right away. Here are some baskets. Just stay close to home. Okay, Mom. You ready? Yeah! I'll get the most fruit. No, I will. Let's see who will get the most. The kids can't wait to start picking fruits. The kids filled up their baskets with fruit and carried them back to Mimi's place. I think we got too much fruit. Yeah, I like this. The kids are already a little tired. But their work isn't done. 
Mimi and her mom start making juice. But first, they need to make a stand. So, Mr. Unicorn, Theo, and Dee Dee start putting one together. I have a feeling we're gonna sell out right away. I hope so. I'm already sleepy. Here's the first customer. Oh, yeah. Could I have some juice? Of course, that'll be 75 cents. Mrs. Sheep gives her a dollar. Keep the change. This is delicious. Thank you. Wow. Word about Mimi's delicious juice spread all around town. Everyone wants to try it. Phew. We worked hard. Yeah. I'd do it again. The next day, Mimi and her mom headed to the store to buy the toy. Mimi really wanted to buy that toy, but she remembered that she couldn't have raised this money without the help of her friends. So she decided to buy three toys instead, one for everyone. Mimi gave Theo and Didi their toys right away. Friendship is more important than anything. Dee Dee made a little mess. Dee Dee! <laughs> you have ice cream on your face. <laughs> Where? Here? <laughs> Dee Dee, you look old. Huh? You look like a grandpa. <laughs> What is that? Whoa! Let's go check it out. Come, let's go. Let's find out what it is first, then go check. What do you think it could be? A huge lollipop! I think it's an alien that fell out of his UFO, and we have to help him. Yeah! I think it's a huge sword. Only a worthy warrior would be able to pull it out. Oh! Yeah! Want me to tell you what it really is? Of course! Let's get closer. Uh, See? It's just a scarecrow. A scarecrow? Yes. Farmers use them to scare birds away from eating their crops. The birds think there's a person in the field, so they don't come close. Oh, that, that makes, makes sense. sense. Want to make one at home? Totally. totally! Then let's go. Ready to make a scarecrow? Yeah! We'll need two branches. Yay! <laughs> Make a body out of hay. Should we put clothes on him? Yeah. Let's use one of Mr. Unicorn's old blazers. You don't mind, right? <laughs> of course not. What? We'll use a ball to make the head. And we'll give him a nice hat. Yay! What do you think? I love it! Me too. See, he's not scary at all. No, he's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Great, now it's lunchtime. Yeah! The kids and Mimi's parents made their very own scarecrow. It won't scare birds away. It's just for fun. 